because having a large social circle is often associated with an attractive man, someone with a lone wolf personality is often perceived as someone who will have difficulty getting dates. On the other hand, some of the most attractive men I know, the ones who are constantly dating hot women one after another, can be classified as loners. Most men find this strange. Especially to those who go out of their way to be more social in order to appear more appealing to women. If you think it's strange, it's because you're not yet aware of the powerful attractive signals that loners can send out. I'll do my best to correct it. To begin with, don't mistake being a lone wolf for being antisocial. They're two completely different things. A man who enjoys solitude does not necessarily despise social situations. These two states are not diametrically opposed to the point where they can't coexist. For example, just because you prefer to work outside of your team's presence does not mean you don't enjoy going to the club with them. Is that clear? Which personality hat you prefer to wear can be influenced by circumstances. And just because you prefer to do things alone doesn't mean you're a hermit, reclusive, antisocial, introverted, or antisocial. It's just that friends and co-workers frequently label others as lone wolves or lone rangers as soon as they exhibit characteristics associated with them. And they usually do it just to have something to talk about in the group. To avoid awkward silences. However, if you consistently exhibit lone wolf behavior, you may have a more serious issue. Anyway, if loners aren't attractive to women, you wouldn't see so many of them hooking up with attractive women all over the place, would you? Correct. So, here are some of the appealing characteristics of the lone wolf personality. It's worth noting that being a loner can manifest these characteristics. But whether or not a man genuinely possesses them is a different story. 1. Mysterious Both men and women find mystery to be a strangely attractive trait. I'm not sure why this is the case. It's probably because you can't read a person like a book, so you can't think of all the possibilities. There's no room for imagination when you already know everything there is to know about someone and can read him like a book. When you only know about 30% of a person's personality and are unable to guess what the remaining 70% is made up of, your imagination has a lot of room to run wild. And, as you may know, women enjoy letting their imaginations run wild. Even if a man is a bitter loser, there's no way to know for sure when he hides the other 70% of who he is. Two. Independent. Independence is a strong attraction factor. Women require men to look after them. And how can they put their faith in someone who can't even look after himself? This is a characteristic that a lone wolf possesses. You wouldn't go off on your own unless you were capable of looking after yourself. And doing so necessitates a significant amount of. 3. Confidence. Many women consider a man's confidence to be the most attractive quality. You won't rate highly on the masculinity scale if you don't carry yourself with confidence, even if you have a six-pack as hard as stone and bulging biceps as big as your mother's head. In fact, many people regard men who spend more time at the gym than they do sleeping as people who have such low self-esteem that they work out so much to hide that aspect of themselves. A man must be confident in himself before venturing out on his own. Reality is based on perception. 4. Doesn't seek approval. Approval-seeking behavior is well known to be unappealing to females. For most men, the problem is figuring out how to demonstrate that you aren't seeking approval. Here's a great way to get started. You're already saying that you don't succumb to peer pressure because you have your own mind by not following the crowd. You have a strong opinion about something and are not afraid to express it. Furthermore, you do not require the approval of others in order to feel good about yourself. That's a really strong mental game you've got going on there. I hope you liked the video. Tell me what do you think about the topic in the comments section and subscribe the channel with notification bell on so you don't miss more videos. Check out our other videos as well. I'll see you in the next video.